Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to the Mata Nui Online game. Uh, so, we have to go through here. We have to go through the... The, the walkthrough actually says the, the place with three wavy lines. I assume that says Lake Oro? Because we're going there next. Alright, well we've ended up at the Lightstone Mine. Okay. The point is, is that we should be able to follow this map. Oops. Also, I've just noticed I have a, uh, an item from every one of the, uh, major Wahi I visited. Let's go to Takoro and just see. Hmm. Yeah, this leads back here. This, where does this go? Hmm. I like. I feel like I have like no spatial awareness. Okay, I'm back in Takoro. It's my home. I'm Takua. Oh, there's another map there. All right, so I'm here. So if I go to the very end and then hit left, I think I might be okay. Okay, there's the light stones. Is this it? Can I? Oh, I can't. Okay, I needed to talk to one. Cool. Onepu oh, told me you found a way to the Lightstone. Thank you. We can dig more quickly now. I'm sure, the highway will reach Lakoro soon. Weird that they would go with just a droning noise. Right, attack the site. Traveler, stay near me. I'll protect you. Why are you digging? Building a highway to the village of Lakoro. Onua says I'm the strongest of the uh, Onukoran Tohonga. I'm a Toran, but you know. So I'm leading the way. Let me turn down my actual sound there. Uh, where's Lakoro? It's a village in the south where the Lake Horn and. Again, Lake Horn and Tohonga. Like, that's so much more complicated. Just. You can say Le Matoran, and that's. That's something that I think was very good about the change. Not just because they stopped, like culture appropriating, but they also, you know, kind of simplify the terminology. Like, I've seen Le Koronen, Le Koroen, and Le Kornen. I've never been there. Onepu says there are tall, pretty forests and huts built in the sky. Onepu says the Le Kornens are great musicians and play music all day long at the treetops. Who's Onepu? He's my best friend in all of Onokoru. He's very smart and knows a lot about Uzel crab racing and fighting Rahi. He's supposed to be digging too, but he showed me about how I can do both of our digging at the same time. That's how smart he is. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, can I give you something? Yet da da Goodbye. Thank you. Cool. We did it. We've made it through. Onepu was right. It is so beautiful here. When Uwa said I should make camp when we break through, but I want to go see Lake Koro and the tree to Honga. Lake Koro is right through those trees, I bet. Won't you take me to go see it? I will. Thank you. I bet it's even more beautiful than the Great Mine. Let's go. The Great Mine was pretty beautiful, though. Wow. Look at all these art assets, man. That's so cool. It's here. Lake Koro found it. It's beautiful. <gasps> Right, that happens. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. Did the bridge just jump? Okay, maybe it's just a graphical thing. 
and a Lecor a Lecornin flute. Yeah, look at these. Look at these cool, like, carved things up here. Oh, it's so neat. Kite to catch the wind, naturally. Uh, hmm. Interesting that they have like a disengage to take it to the ground, but not all the way up, back up. Wow. Oh, look, it's a little connector. That's cute okay cool play the little friend song yeah, I had that guy. That's Kongu. <laughs> I love the turquoise. Traveler beware, dark time come. Matau stolen, Liwa gone. Le Cor Coronans prepare for battle flight. Oh yeah, so they have this like slang language called uh, tree speak. And like, it's it's just two words that get mushed together. Like, night is just dark time, and, and here, philosophically, it's used as the time of bad things happening. Here to help with the defense traveler, Lekoro needs brave wind riders to face the Rama. Nui Rama are, of course, great bugs. Kagu, fast asleep runner, ever quick pilot, weaver, map maker, Lekoro Matoran. Or Le Matoran. Mata the singer. Funny you mention him, because he's pizzazz right here. I have Mato. I think I mentioned that before, but I do really like Lake Oro, and and this game is kind of why, because like Onukoro is pretty, but it's underground, and like I love a, a good dwarven settlement or a dwarven city, but like it is pretty dang dark and dank down there. That was some good alliteration, dang. Um, Takoro is cool, but it's very hot. Pokoro is amazing and beautiful, but it's very empty. Uh, Gakoro is pretty small. Um, and Kokoro, again, is just very cold. But this is, like, one of the only, like, nice temperate parts. And, like, their cool, like, leaf technology was so cool. And, like, the fact that robots would feel the need to make leaf technology is so funny to me. Anyway. Mata the singer. Down talk. Up singing. Down talk. Up singing. Friend in laughter. In life you dawn years past was known Matau Kiwa champion. Matau great Taraga of Lake Kuro and soul the forest people. Gone, gone. Taken by Makuta's Rahi. Who's Lewa? I think it's Liwa, actually. Great Toe of Air, hero of Lake Oro. Gone away in his quest for the Great Kanohi. If we were here, he would save us. He has faced greater dangers than this and survived. So on the on all of these, they actually have all like six Toa on the outside. And I have those. Um, and like it's like a slipcover that you can slide that shows the actual guy you have inside. Uh, well, goodbye. Up tree battle, down tree peace. You may choose, but if Rama come, try to stay undercover. Okay, just back to you. But yeah, Lake Oro is always, like, really, really cool to me. All right, can I explore a little more down here? <laughs> Rama Swarm, scramble. So the Lake Oro Guard use these animals called gecko birds. Yeah. I don't know if these are gecko birds. I remember them looking a little different. Look, they have a little guy waving him in. Just for reference, this is the completed thing. 
Traveler, would you be my second? My Kahu, Kahu, these are these things. My Kahu stays treat bound without a disc thrower. Uh, he can't fly his bird without somebody to shoot for him. Yes. Hope your disc arm is strong as your nerve. They will protect us. Let's go. And again, deification. <laughs> really good use of shades of green here as well. <laughs> A very obvious Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. Break formation. May the wind ever be under your wings. Can I charge this as well? Okay, so it shoots when I release. But yeah, kind of interesting choice to go for Ride of the Valkyries here. Uh-oh. What is... We've segued into Disco. I hope you didn't want me to actually hit these guys, by the way. Oh god. Interesting that they like light up their wings as well. Jump! Don't gotta tell me twice, bro. You okay, traveler? Onto the forest and it carries us safely or forward every time. Let's not pause. No, we, uh, the Rama swarm rages. Help needed up tree. Oh, gosh. All right, so yeah, I just have to... I actually have to succeed here. Ain't that annoying. Yeah, I don't know how, how this Rama is coming back every time. Maybe they're just getting a new one and burning the old one. It's a little gruesome, actually. There's probably, like, an in-universe justification that it can, like... It can land, uh... It can land safely as long as it has no passengers, so we just gotta bail out and it'll be fine. Break formation, but back up your wingman. So, like, should I just, like, wait here? I hope that there's no more keys involved with this. This game has only been using the mouse. Whoever did the music, this is uh, Templar Games, is I think what they're called. They just had so much fun, I can imagine. Back up your wingman. So break, does he just mean to like shoot defensively? Like to scare them off? Because I think I was having more success doing that. Okay. Okay, cool. So you just have to shoot defensively. That's nice. Oh, wow. You can actually, like, take him out. Ugh. These cutscenes are, like, completely unskippable, by the way. As far as I know. I'm going to try hitting escape. No, you cannot skip them. I've had to hear this, like, silly cover of Rod of the Valkyries so many times now. So do I just click as soon as I see one? Because I thought I had to, like, charge up and make sure I, I got him. This, like, Baywatch-style disco music is weird, I must say. I really want to- I really want to get this. 
Oh, my wings are getting torn up. I see it. I seize it. Okay, this is now the fourth scenery change. Please go away. I'm like actually getting this like stressed here. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, you can you can go as fast as it can. Okay, I was like waiting for my shots. <gasps> Please. Yeah, okay. We did it. See, I knew we were on our kind of like bugs more than like birds, but they're huge, so. <laughs> and yeah, it's Mato. He's here, gang. I'm in purple light because it makes my hair look better, uh, but it does make... Um, my green bionicles look uh, kind of mediocre. All right. It's an honor you sought to save me, travel, but I'm sorry you made the attempt. But with song, we will know hope, and hope brings freedom. Sing as you work, and hopefully what comes to save us. Who are you? I am Mata, called the singer by the people of the Koro. I'm their Turaga. I've been imprisoned here since Leaf Dawn. You're not of this tribe, so I will tell you of Liwa, but you must swear not to reveal what I'm about to say to anyone. Liwa's here, but he will not save us. But why for? The Great Toa is the same in body, in strength, and in speed, but his mind is gone. El Gasp. He has been infected by the Makuta and enslaved by evil. His great mask of power has been placed by an infected mask, and the only way to bring him back is to take it off. And I know nothing of the strength to overcome him. He has been more fearsome and horrible than any rock Rahi. We shall never escape this place. All that is left to us is song and what small comfort it brings. Oh, goodbye. Do your work without resistance. Nui Rama are not clever, but they see much. They know when we're plotting. All right. Uh, that should do for this episode, then. Um, I'm happy to have gotten to another new area. I'm happy to have met uh, some of my favorite fellas. Uh, and I've got to say, like, for those keeping track... Liwa getting incapacitated, or for those who will keep track, I, I guess. I don't know. It becomes a, a running gag that if somebody gets mind controlled or possessed or has their like power taken away or something like that, it's usually Liwa. Um, but that's just that's just bionicle lore, so don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been more Modern Nui Online game, uh, and like I said, I'm having a great dang time doing it. Um, we're going to finish up Lake Koro and then presumably start Kokoro next time. And then the end of the show, I guess. Uh, and then I'll do something else afterward. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.